Hey guys, what's going on? It is Catapult here today with a brand new series that we will call Come Fly With Me. Today we will be flying American Airlines Flight 3131 from Dallas Fort Worth into Will Rogers uh, World Airport, which is Oklahoma. Flight time today will be about 37 minutes uh, estimate. Uh, today we are going to be using the uh, Smart Cars American. And our cruising altitude today will be 15,000 feet. We're going to be in a Boeing 737-800 aircraft. Our route today is Kilo Delta Foxtrot Whiskey, Alpha Delta Mike, Kilo Oscar, Kilo Charlie. And we're going to go ahead and start this. The captain has turned on the seatbelt sign. Please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. Now let's go ahead and turn on... The cockpit panels and welcome aboard American Airlines. My name is Barry Kenny and I'm your person. Our captain this evening is Tom Hansen and assisting him first officer Scott Tiger. Take this opportunity to welcome you aboard our flight, ladies and gentlemen. The captain has turned off the path sign indicating that we are now at cruising altitude. So don't mind that. There's one in the plane and then there's one in the American uh, app thing. The American app is the one I prefer though. But uh, this this is our aircraft for today's flight and there's two planes right there. Our aircraft here today. It's a brand new plane as well. It's quite a nice plane. So yeah, let's uh Go ahead and get our IFR clearance. VFW clearance delivery, American 124. Okay, I'm just going to say this. There is the call sign on here, which uh, is 124, but we are 3131. In the future, I will be changing these throughout the flights. So we are cleared. Climb maintained 6,000 feet. Go ahead and just set that. I'm gonna climb at a rate of 2,500, so the nose isn't down and the plane going is going up. American which is one two four. We acknowledge. Yep. American one two four. Clear to Rogers Airport. Has filed. Fly runway heading. Climate maintained 6,000. Departure on one three five point nine hundred seven five. Squawk four three five five. American one two. Now I'll magically put on the squawk and all the codes and all that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and push back here because there's no pushback things here. Going to go ahead and push back. Then Hello, we'll everyone. Start them up. Thank you for your attention. It's Have time safety to get video you ready on. for takeoff. We know you have lots of choices, so thanks for choosing American. We're happy to be your airline. Now, if you'll just follow along with me, we'll be on our way. AFW Ground, American 124, with Yankee, ready to taxi IFR. American 124, taxi to Illinois, runway 31, there are some safety instructions. Alpha, Juliet, Sierra, Echo, Romeo, contact tower on 124.15 when ready. First things first, let's buckle those belts. Insert the metal end into the buckle and pull the strap to tail. To open, simply lift the top of the buckle. And remember, Seatbelt should be fastened whenever you're seated, just in case of unexpected turbulence. To get us on our way, make sure your seat is up, all electronic devices are put away, and your tray table is stowed. If you have a carry-on, push it Looks all the way like we're gonna be two for if it departure won't fit, here. place it in the overhead bin. Go ahead and turn our lights on, device, we're going to turn our strobes it to airplane off. mode now. You'll find our full electronic device policy in the back of your American way. U.S. law prohibits smoking, including electronic cigarettes, at any time. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying smoke detectors in the laboratories may result in a fine. U.S. law yeah, let's go ahead and start engine with one. lighted and posted signs and crew member instructions. Now let's review the safety card. Please pay close attention, and before you know it, we'll be off. 
So this plane, do the planes don't All turn for me when you can push back. So that's an issue right now. Everything's taking a moment or two to load in here. All exits have evacuation slides to use in an emergency. When directed to exit, jump onto the slide and move away from the airplane. Um, I also want to say thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. It's insane. I mean, I'll make a whole video on how it happened, like, so quick, because it happened within, like, five days. Like, it just shot up because of two things that I did. And I'll show you guys, like, what I did and how to do it and stuff like that. Um, but most of it was, like, off ads and stuff, like Google ads, YouTube ads, whatever it's called. But that that's a really big booster. But they they cost money, but it's it's just advertisement, really. So we are lining up on. Or we're holding short of three five left, and we are number two for departure. Up there, we're gonna tune on to tower frequency. That way, when we get there, we can just request. show you guys a little bit about this smart cars thing here. What I really like about it is that it will show you your total flight time that you're in the air uh, from when you departed and then when you land and then as soon as you land it will show you how long you're in the air. Sorry if it's lagging a little. 
um, and it will show you like all your stuff. So when you launch it, uh, what kind of plane, how much fuel you have, when engine one and two is off or on, stuff like that, when you're taxiing and all that. Uh, when you're in the air, when you change your flaps, if you stall, if you go over speed, and then you have to file your uh, report afterwards, and there's like certain restrictions that you have to be like under, so like you can't stall, and you have to have a landing rate under 750, I believe, and then it automatically files. If not, then you have to uh, wait for it to get checked. We have going in our world travel, 1348, ready for IFR departure, runway 35 left. World travel, 1348, clear for takeoff, runway 35 left. Clear for takeoff, runway 35 left, world travel, 1348. So he's going to line up there and he's going to depart. That's the plane that is right there. So we are right after him. So we should be taking off a little earlier than expected. <clears throat> okay. If we're just coming out here, I'm just going to come. Oh, no. say this is a very nice aircraft to be honest. So I did record a different flight earlier, um, but it was, it screwed up the recording. So that, that was with OBS, because I'm on uh, my personal computer, which isn't the best computer in the house. Our house computer is the best one. But um, I've never recorded with OBS, but I didn't have this program on this computer, that I didn't have any uh, videos or stuff. Okay, so we are holding short of 35 left. We're going to go ahead and request our takeout clearance. Yes, LB Tower, American 124, ready for IFR departure, runway 35 left. American 124, clear for takeoff, runway 35 left. And we are clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 35 left, American 124. Alright, we're going to go ahead and check left. We have an aircraft out there, but he is well out of options. Take right. Or it was the other way around, actually. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and line up on the active. And then we're going to Speed brakes off, flap set. Put them at 15. Altitude set. 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 Now, also, when I tried to record this earlier, the landing was horrific. And yes, I should just get some lags, but I can open here the. On runway, three, five, left. We're just going to line up over here because... Yeah, 
there. Successfully departed. Well, at least we're going straight on course and don't have to turn around. Regional departure, American 124, is climbing through 2000. What's up? American 124, regional departure, Roger. Welcome to Niner, 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 Niner. American 124, turns up heading 350, on navigation, climbing through 6000. Turn left heading 350, zero, on navigation. Alright, anyway guys, so we are currently just proceeding on course. The flight I did before this was a few hours ago, and we had taken off 10 minutes early, or er, correction, 10 minutes late, and... Just gonna hold off for a second. So what I was saying is, uh, we took off 10 minutes late. Just gonna throw the speed back a little. Just probably set this. Didn't work last time. Well, it worked earlier for some reason, which it never does. But. Go ahead and set that. But yeah, we arrived. So it was supposed to be a 45 minute flight, we were only in the air for 25 minutes, so we took 20 minutes off. And then to top, top it off, we still arrived 10 minutes early. <clears throat> so I mean, uh, that's pretty good to me. Uh, weather conditions today are perfect outside. Like, perfect, perfect. Uh, we may have a tad bit of turbulence, but not too much. So it's just straight on course from here until we have to make the next turn, which is coming up when? Pretty soon. It's a short flight, about 37 minutes. So we're going to cross the border and go into Oklahoma. And uh, at Alpha Delta Mike, we're going to turn just a tad bit. And then we're going to proceed onwards towards Kansas City, or Oklahoma City. Jesus, I just saw the KC and was like, ah, oh, yeah. The airport back there. Probably switch back to virtual now. <clears throat> so, like I said, this is the first of the series. We are planning to do at least four a month at minimum. It depends on the schedule. School starts tomorrow out of all days. It has to start tomorrow. Uh, this is the earliest it's ever started for us down here. <clears throat> um, but it does start tomorrow, so that's going to be a little conflict. I am starting up at a new school, new grade, new grade level, uh, so that's a bit of an issue, but we do get out of school at 250 for my school, so that's going to be good at least. Besides that, um, no issues really, uh, we should have this uploaded a lot, and we're going to have some new stuff as well besides this, so this whole channel is just going to get changed around a lot. We're still going to have fire rescue stuff. Just unplugged my mouse for a second so I could clean it without it hitting any buttons or anything. Because this thing builds up. Ugh some random reason.
I should probably contact original. There it is. Um, we know. Oh. American one ten four with you. American one ten four take off departure. Roger. Altimeter two hundred two. American one ten four. Climb and maintain one five thousand. One five thousand. Maintain one five thousand. American one ten four. One five thousand, we go and we shoot. One two four point seven five. One two four point seven five. Three one three one seven five. American one two four. Now we're actually gonna tune in this time. That's another announcement thing they do there. They do a whole lot of them. Uh, and the in flight one will have one as soon as I turn off the seatbelt on. But yeah, like I was saying, the mic quality and the uh, computer itself aren't the best. And nor is FSX. FSX, FSX is a 12 year old game, but it's still looking pretty good. Um, so I'm hoping to get a new computer, a new mic, because I don't have a mic. I'm just talking into my computer's audio thing, because it has a built-in mic on it, actually. Um, and I have an HP PC, so it'd be nice to get a gaming PC, uh, a mic, and either x or P3D. Comment down below which one. But uh, we are going to start doing loads and loads and loads of these kinds of videos. So, uh, just stay tuned for that. Alright, and like I said with the ACARS thing, it says here, so it's estimated arrival time is in 60 minutes. We've been up in the air for 9 minutes, for about 10 minutes now. And it doesn't pause the simulator, so you can keep going here. Uh, over speed entered there, 350. That was when we first took off, and speed corrected at correct, uh, certain altitude. And we are currently at 12,500. 
So say like flat position at so and so feet at so and so speed, uh, taking off, landing, uh, descending, all that, and it will have it knows when you're doing it. And before it works, the only thing that's bad is you can't hear anything when you have that selected. As so, you might do some bad things like this. But yeah, I'm going to try and get one up today, which is the 12th, and tomorrow the 13th. Tomorrow's one won't come out until tomorrow night, but today's will come out today when you're seeing it. Yeah. Well, if you see it on the release date. But I'm going to try and get it the next two days. So yeah, that's one of the other ones, and here's the in-flight one, which, oh, oops. So yeah, that was the in-flight one, and now here's the uh, in-game one. Nope, alright. Never mind, doesn't want to work the one time I want it to work. So we should be told to turn here any moment now. We passed the uh, waypoint and we are. Uh, we're past, past there. So we should be. Yeah, we're in a hall. Past there. Just said that like ten times. So we just, just, just passed it. Okay. So we got a fair ways to go. We got to fly to the middle of the state. Which I mean, isn't all that bad actually. But yeah, we should be told to turn any moment now. It's gonna be a left turn. Which we're gonna leave the seatbelt sign off because I mean you don't really. Yeah, I went on a flight. What was that? It was about eight days ago, and we were at cruise and we were told to turn over the
I mean, like, realistically, how do you see if, like, they say traffic at 12 o'clock? Like, how are you going to see that from the cockpit? So we should turn here any moment now. If I wasn't recording, I would have just turned on my own. But actually, they might be bringing us out here for the approach. Which is what I believe they are doing. Because I think they're going to take us from here, out to here, and then have us turn in on here, here, and here. Uh, we did not get which one runway we're checking the approach for yet. Crap, so I just read that wrong and I thought it said 250, not 050. Christ. We'll be going the same way either way, so it don't matter. Uh, but down to 3000, currently on the descent. I should have verified that. Uh, we're on the 35 right approach. I believe they took off 35 left from that, yeah. So they have, alright, well, that's good. So we're 60 miles south. And we're in some turbulence here. Alright, and we are back in here. I'll take a little break for a minute to go get something done. So we're exactly where we left off. I just paused the sim. Oh, uh, we're expecting runway 35 right. And we are turning. lined up here and then we're going to turn again to get lined up again and by lined up I mean we're gonna get to the point where we reach where the line is and then we're gonna turn so we're on the line we're just next to it
hopefully my landings aren't crap. Alright, we're gonna go ahead idle down to 245 because we are under 10,000 feet. And you need to slow down. Which is something I never do until now. Because it's what we're supposed to do. of FSX rendering, but hey do Tower. Err, uh, non-range. American 1-4, contact locality, approach 120.45. 120.45, American 124. Can you say Oklahoma, you gotta just say Oak. Oki City. There it is. Okay, now we're turning left. Tell you right now, this landing it's gonna be a little laggy. Just be aware. That's all I can say. The airport is just over that lake over there. How nice that plane is. Stars starting to come out. That looks, yeah, no. Not doing that. As you can see, you got all your stuff. That's pretty cool. The ones in the middle. Slow you down, boy. Just gonna slow down a bit more. Take down a Two nine or five. Three one three one. Two nine or five. American one two four. Yeah, it's over the lakes, and it is. Oh, it's being in front of us. It's in front of us now. We're turning on to the line. Because there's a runway up and where? Right there. So we're coming out there. So we're gonna come out here and then we're gonna turn out here for the road. Is what I think we're gonna be doing and what I hope we're gonna be doing. What I believe we're gonna be doing. Okay. So we're gonna level off here because we are just about 3,000 feet. The vertical speed is going to pop to zero in just a few seconds. <clears throat> American 124, Sometimes it does that, it just jumps its roll. It's pain. That's a nice hand there. I, I need to get that. Uh, 
consonants. <clears throat> and black. what they're making us do. Alright, they're making us come from here where we currently are. They're going to have us come right here, turn. We're just going to go in for the approach right there. And that should be that. As far as what I know. That red line that I want to use there. Now, it's going to go ahead and drop to an altitude of 2,000 feet. And as soon as we get up close, we're going to turn it. So, we are coming in on one of those runways. Not sure which. It looks like we're about to hit terrain, but we're not. Okay. Maybe here, though. Unless those things. I highly doubt they're 2,000 feet. But I mean, it's FSX, you never know. Actually, I think they're over 2,000. <laughs> Yeah. 
last, we're going to start turning here. We're going to get it lined up with the rock. So we are a little on the side. Actually, no, we're not because we're coming in here. Bless you. Those are my dog sins. Say bless you in comments, those pay respects. Alright, auto throttle off, altitude hold off, heading hold off. I do see the runway up ahead. We're going to go ahead and throttle back ever so slightly. And we are going to do spot locked, or else it's just going to be a nightmare. Because it's going to just move and move and move. That! That! What, what you mean, flubs? Okay, we are way too low. Is that a cricket, bitch? Approaching three, four, flaps. In America? Flaps. Yes, thank you. Flaps come down. Alright, how are the flaps now? Should be lined up. We are not lined up. Alright. Thank you for letting me know. Alright, it's on deck. We're clear to land. Runway 35 right. Clear to land. Runway 35 right. American on deck. Four. So we are clear to land. We're just going to do this and this. Wait, is that the airport? Alright guys, so we have landed. Not the smoothest landing I've ever done, but we are we're down. Let's go ahead. Flaps. Whoa. Flaps at zero. 
Let's go ahead and move that down, please. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're returning, we're returning, we're returning. Alright, so we're going there. Let's go ahead and get to the gate. Alright, so our estimated flight time was about 37 minutes airtime, and we managed to do it in 36. Uh, our landing rate was 32. Dude, that's got to be the highest one on the web, or the lowest on the website. That's got to be a record on the website today, dude. There's no way. Because there's butter landings of the day. There, that's gotta be the most butter landing of the day. And that was my worst one I've ever done in my game. Check back with you in a moment on that. Pulling up into the gate now. Six, which is right ahead, which I had no clue of. All right, have fun on the rear crash travel. Break on engine one off, engine two off. Go ahead. Brief move about as necessary. However, we do ask that when you are seated, you keep your seatbelt comfortably fastened for your safety and that of those about you. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be our pleasure to begin our in flight service with beverages followed by a snack. Yep. Cocktails, wine, and beer. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching episode one of Come Fly With Me. I uh, successfully landed here uh, after a few. So let me just check real quick if we did manage to make first or the leaderboard. Okay, guys. So if you see here, Grace Landings updated daily. Holy crap. We're on top. We're the first one. And to prove it, like, look, here's my stuff here. I don't care about that. Everyone knows about that. But landing rate, 32. Here was my route. It was... KDFW. Boom. The KOKC. Boom. Aircraft 737-8. Boom. And date. Boom. Uh, call signs were... Ah. Okay, okay. What it's saying is, because 4665, that's my pilot ID. But holy crap, guys, we got first on the day. I've never done that. Light look, compare this one to, uh, we'll go to my other ones real quick. Pilot center, back. We'll go to, like, uh, this one here. Like, look. Oh, crap, wait. Yeah, it was this one. Whoa, my god. Oh, view detail. Look at this. 1,456 FPM. I mean, I think that was my best landing I've ever done. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.